Hey guys, what's up? So can you lose body fat and gain muscle at the same time? I know that's a big question out there and a lot of people are saying that you cannot do both at the same time. It's one or the other. I'm here to tell you that you can. And on a GLP-1, like Ozempic, Wagovi, Manjaro, Zepbound, Terzepatide, uh, Semaglutide, I am here to tell you that even on a GLP-1, and maybe even more so, you can actually build muscle and lose body fat at the same time. I'm gonna break down a research trial called the Surpass Clinical Trials that showcase this. I'm gonna talk about my own personal experience of losing 50 pounds, gaining muscle and strength at the age of 54, which is what I am now, and I'm a mom, I have kids that are in their 20s right now, so if I can do it, anybody can do this. So let's get into the research and my experience, but before, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, hit the bell button so you always know when the next one is coming. Comment below what your thoughts are. Do you have experience already in losing fat, building muscle, strength, do you have questions? Are you struggling with that? Well, I'm gonna outline some strategies on what to do as well as the science behind it. Okay, number one, the problem with traditional dieting is most people think that they have to lose the weight first before they start an exercise program or they have to lose the weight and just do a whole bunch of cardio and then once they reach their goal weight, well, then they're gonna start lifting weights and building muscle at that point because they don't think that they can do it at the same time or that they should do it at the same time. And I think that information was kind of hammered into us for decades. I know that that's what I was told, you know, you gotta do cardio, you gotta go out run and, you know, be in a severe caloric deficit and, and never have carbohydrates or whatever and lose the weight and then you can start building muscle. But we need to throw that out the door because we know that doesn't work because we tried it, we've done it, and we know that it has rebounded on us and it doesn't work. So what does work is building muscle and lifting weights while you're in a caloric deficit. If you lift weights and you hit your protein target, because that's the other important part, and you're getting sleep, they're, they're, really there's three components. You have to get consistent good sleep because if you're not, you might be doing all the things and if your sleep is really crappy, that could inhibit you from building muscle and or losing weight. So get good sleep, hit your protein target, and, and I go over this in every, almost every video, your protein target is approximately one gram of protein per pound of ideal body weight which means if your ideal body weight is 120 pounds, 120 pounds is your approximate target for protein. Or to break that down, you're probably looking at approximately 30 grams of protein per meal. If you're hitting three to four meals, you're gonna hit, you're gonna hit your numbers right there for the protein. And then you need to lift weights. And as a beginner or a newbie, you don't have to do a lot to elicit muscle gain and strength. You can start with two days, three even, 15 minutes. That's it. And you're gonna start getting those benefits. Now, if you're more experienced, you may have to add some more volume or some more days to your workout. I have been experienced. I've been working out pretty much my whole life. Um, so my program is that I do lift five days a week and I walk every single day. So I am active every day, but I do lift five days a week. Um, but again, if you're new, you're a beginner, you don't have to go to that extent. So let's break down the research. There was a clinical trial called the Surpass Clinical Trial. And I'm going to read to you some of the outcomes of that trial and what it was about. So in this trial, there were it was a phase three trial that was looking at the effects of terzepatide. One of the key findings was that participants lost substantial fat, especially visceral fat. Now the visceral fat, that is the toxic fat 
that's internal, right? It's not your subcutaneous fat out here. It's internal and it wraps around your organs and it's very inflammatory. So it makes it very toxic. So they looked at the visceral fat while preserving lean muscle mass. And in fact, some studies suggest, now get this, terzepatide actually can promote muscle protein synthesis through improved insulin sensitivity, nutrient partitioning, and reduced inflammation. So what that means is that if you're on Manjaro or Zetbound or Zepatide, you actually are at an advantage to help preserve and build muscle while you're on a GLP-1 because it improves your insulin sensitivity within the muscle. That's amazing. And I feel like that has happened with me because I have never been this muscular or strong or lean. And I, I feel that that has actually been true. So in fact, there are um, other studies as well. Uh, it has helped to reduce the fatty infiltrates in the liver and skeletal muscle. And this is really important because fat sits inside the muscle. So when you're losing uh, body weight, and you lose the fat that's in the muscle, that fat could impair the insulin sensitivity. So that's a good thing. You wanna lose those fatty infiltrates to have a better insulin response. And that means your muscles can work better and they can get stronger and they can get bigger. So the summary to this is that the main takeaway is that terzepatide reduces fat mass significantly more than the lean mass, indicating that lean mass is preserved or at least is proportionately increased. Um, and again, this is the SURPASS clinical trial program. And in this program, the participants lost on average 15 to 22% of their body weight with a greater reduction in the visceral fat and they preserved their lean muscle. Uh, they studied this and they were able to look at MRIs. MRI is really like even better than a DEXA scan because MRI will look at the total uh, body fat and they can look at the fatty, if they have fatty liver, the fatty infiltrates that are in the muscle and they can see if it's really decreased. A DEXA, scan, a DEXA scan can't go that far into looking all, at all the different fat. The mechanisms improved insulin sensitivity. It improved or, or reduced, I should say, inflammation. And it shifted calories towards the muscle and away from the fat. That's remarkable. I mean, that's what we want. So in the SURPASS trial, the researchers found that terzepatide led to significant fat loss, especially around the organs and inside the muscle while keeping lean muscle. This is huge for anyone who is looking to lose fat and preserve or gain muscle. So here are the steps. How do you do it? Because you have to do something to preserve the muscle, right? So step one is again, assuming you're getting in your protein, right? Because you can lift weights and do all of that, but if you're low, low, low on protein, then you're not gonna build the muscle because protein is the building block to muscle. They go hand in hand. That was a mistake that I made years ago for many, many years. I didn't understand that protein really was the building block to muscle and I would work out, but I was definitely not getting in enough protein. I knew protein was important, but I never tracked it. I never looked at it. I never knew how much I was getting. And I know I wasn't getting enough protein. So you could be going to the gym or working out at home and spinning your wheels and working really hard. But again, if you're not getting the protein in, you're not gonna get the benefit. So make sure you're getting your protein in. And again, make sure you're getting good sleep as well. And then the third component, because you're not going to build muscle magically by eating protein. It doesn't work that way. 
you have to do something to stimulate the muscle. You have to send it a signal. So, you know, lifting weights, doing some sort of resistance training, using bands, using body weight. There are many things to use to stimulate the muscle, but it has to be a continual stimulation because at some point you get used to it and your body acclimates to that. So you have to increase the load, the volume, you know, there's gotta be something that sends it that continual signal to keep building, which means you have to give it a reason to grow. I love to do body weight and I love to do um, lifting weights and dumbbells and it's, you don't need a lot. If you want to create an at home workout because you don't want to go to the gym, you can completely get an amazing lean, strong body, lose the weight and build your muscle at the same time. You could do it from home. You do, you're going to need some dumbbells or a bar or something to give you the resistance. And I highly suggest getting a pull-up bar and learning how to do pull-ups. And I'm going to be putting out a video at some point to teach people how to get their first pull-up. So if you're interested in something like that, leave a comment, let me know, because that'll give me more incentive to create the video, because it's gonna take some time for me to put that together. But if you're interested and you are somebody that has been dying to get their first pull up, let me know because I will maybe get that out a little faster um, and get some dumbbells and just do some basic movements two, three times a week, 15 to 20 minutes a session. That's all you need. If you want to do more, great, but don't set yourself up to say, I'm gonna do five days a week and then if you miss a day, you feel bad about it. So set yourself up for success, put it on your calendar, mark it into your phone, make it an appointment, set the schedule, make sure you get it done. And I'm sure you can allocate 15 or 20 minutes towards some strength training. There's the mental benefits, the mental clarity, you just feel really good about yourself and you are going to build that muscle while you're in a calorie deficit because you're going to get the protein. The other aspect of this I would suggest is to get a DEXA scan. If you're, um, if you got the means and there's something around you, go schedule a DEXA scan. Some insurances do pay for it and that will give you a starting point as to where you are from your body composition perspective. I've also done a video on my two DEXA scans that I've done and all the results detailing all of that. So you can go look at that video. Um, I'll be going for a third DEXA scan um, in the next month or two. So I'll be putting something out on that as well. But if you get one in the beginning, you'll know where you start and then you can get another one, six months, 12 months, and you can see where your body composition is and how much lean muscle you've gained and how much body fat you've lost. And it'll also tell you your bone density, which is very, very important. The best way to build bone density is through lifting weights because all of that, you know, pull and tug on your muscles helps to create greater bone density, which is very important, especially as we age and especially for women as we age, because we don't want to fall down, break a hip, and then there's serious negative health outcomes as we get older with that. And we do not want that to happen. So combining the right nutrition, sleep, and lifting weights, and terzepatides up on Manjaro. And I do think, even though the studies haven't been there, but I also think Wagovia and Ozempic do the same thing. Combining all of that together is like magic. It is really giving you an opportunity to propel you to that next level. And you wanna get lean and you wanna get strong, you can do that with this. You're gonna to have to dial it in a little bit more, but you can absolutely get there. I had reset my goals a bunch of times because I basically wanted to see how lean could I get, and how strong can I get? And I'm still working on that. I'm working on my strength. I'm still working on getting those gains and seeing how far I can take it. Um, I've not never done a muscle up before and I still can't do one yet 
but I think that's a goal I'm going to set for myself and I think that would be pretty cool to get that. Um, what are some of your goals? What are your strength goals? What would you like to get to in terms of athleticism? Leave a comment below. That would be really cool to hear about. So I'm here to tell you that I am proof that you can lose body fat and you can gain muscle at the same time and have an amazing outcome for yourself. So if you like this video, please like the video and comment on it, subscribe, hit the bell button so you always know when the next one is coming and leave a comment. What are your thoughts on losing body fat and building muscle at the same time? I would love to hear from you. Stay strong.